Hi, I'm Claude Larson. I'm coming to you from my basement studio. I've been posting pictures of this particular quilt that I'm holding up here. I've been putting it on my Instagram, but I haven't shown it to anybody in its entirety until right now. Um, often when I finish my quilts, I bind them so they have a nice soft edge. Traditional quilt binding uh, technique can be you know, seen on probably many other videos. But when I made this particular quilt, the edges, as you can see, are uneven. And doing a binding finish, I mean, it's possible, but um, it wasn't really how I wanted to finish this quilt. And so what I did after I was done quilting it, I did a very close stitch to the edge, trimmed off any um, little loose threads with scissors, and then I went around the edge with a paintbrush and I added Titan Buff paint. Now Titan Buff is just a, it's, you know, the paint name for off-white. And um, because this quilt was a very neutral palette, that's what I used. If this were a black quilt, I would have used black. If it was a red quilt, I would have used red. Um, unless I wanted it to stand out and you wanted to see something that was different. So all I did was I added Titan Buff along to the edge. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that on a second one that I have in the series. Now this one, it's been quilted. I've also applied matte medium to the surface, something I had not done before. So, um, you know, one of those things. It was inevitable when you have fabric and paint in the same room. I was keeping them separate for a very long time. Finally, I just said, that's it, it's time. So I made this feel uh, like a canvas that you would paint on uh, if you purchased a canvas. And then I actually added some red paint scribble along here. I have some vintage uh, mother of pearl buttons, again, in the neutral palette. The edge is yet finished. It is still quilt batting, uh, it's just the quilt sandwich. I use white muslin for the back on uh, most of my quilts as long as I have it on hand. And I'm going to just show you how I finish the edge right now. So I'm going to tip this down so you can see what I'm doing. And I have the quilt. I have Titan Buff in a soft body acrylic. i um, pretty sure you can use it in any form. Um, just squeezing out a little bit of that. And then I have uh, an acrylic brush. So acrylic brushes tend to have a little bit stiffer bristles, say, than maybe a watercolor. I'm not really a watercolorist, so um, I don't want to talk too much about that. But I just take some on the side of my brush, and then I just tap it along the edge, making sure to seal up um, the whole thing. Now what will happen, because there's quilt batting and because there's threads and all kinds of other things, is as you do this, you will undoubtedly get some loose threads that um, will get paint on them and they will stick out and they're not super attractive. It's not really the look I'm going for. All I do is I wait for it to dry. Right? And I'm not sure if you can see those right there, but there are some little hairs sticking up. Um, I'll wait for the paint to dry, and then once the paint's dry, I'll just get a pair of sharp scissors and I'll cut it off. Now, I'm not going to go around the entire quilt because um, you don't need to see that, but you get the idea. Flat side of the brush, a little bit of soft body paint, All right? And again, you can, I mean, you can use craft quality. You don't have to use anything fancy. Uh, it's nice if you have something archival that won't yellow. And you're just going to make sure that when you look along the edge, you're not seeing any of the batting, the white from the batting. You want that to cover up and it gives it a nice seal. So that's one of the ways that I finish up my art quilts. I hope that's useful to you. 
if you're making something that has uneven edges, it's a great way. Um, and I think it's useful, especially on small quilts, if you don't want to do all the work of binding and you're going to be putting it in a frame. Um, you know, this method, very helpful. All right, I hope you uh, have a great day. Thanks for stopping in.